Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba is a one of a kind shonen anime adapted from the manga of a similar title written by Kyoharu Gotuge and is one of the finest works that came out of Nihon in recent times. This is a great release from Studio Ufotable with great visuals and as season 3 of the series is releasing soon, we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview and recap of the series so far, so that you can have a hassle free viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the series, so if you haven't been able to catch up with the series yet, maybe you should pause the video and get back to watching it. But if you are done watching it already, kindly follow us through the video. And yeah, while you're at it, like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on. The story revolves around Tanjiro Kamado, a young boy who lives with his family in the icy mountains. One day he comes home to discover that everyone in his family, including his little siblings, has been killed by demons, except his younger sister Nezuko, who has started to change into a demon herself. He tries to carry her to find a cure, but Nezuko tries to attack him. Suddenly out of nowhere, Gyo Tomioka, a demon slayer, appears to kill her, but after learning their story, he tells Tanjiro to go find Sakonji Urokodaki on Mount Sagiri. On their way, Tanjiro and Nezuko encounter a demon and manage to defeat it effectively. But Tanjiro is unwilling to kill it, so he leaves it to burn in the sunlight. They ultimately run into Urokodaki and after learning their story, he tests Tanjiro to see if he is worthy of being his disciple before accepting him. Tanjiro trains under Urokodaki and learns total concentration and water breathing techniques to join the Demon Slayer Corps. While training, he meets the other students of Urokodaki named Sabito and Makomo who help him train and when his training is complete, he learns the harsh truth that the two pure souls are already dead. But to be accepted as one of the demon slayers, he must succeed in the final selection. On the selection day, he meets a bunch of wannabe candidates and all of them are directly thrown into the battleground filled with demons. Most of them fight relentlessly and Tanjiro comes across the hand demon who killed Sabito and Makomo. The demon has a grudge against Urokodaki and specifically targets his students. But Tanjiro manages to take him down and survive the selection process. Then he makes his way back to Urokodaki's where he meets up with Nezuko. He receives his weapon from a swordsmith named Haga Nezuka and shortly after that his Kasugai crow, a messenger used by the demon slayers, appears and gives him information about his first assignment. Tanjiro while carrying Nezuko inside a box looks into the disappearance of some young woman in a village in the northeast. He then aids a man who lost his fiance to a swamp demon by killing it with Nezuko's assistance and inquires about Muzan Kibutsuji who is thought to be the first demon and has the power to transform people into bloodthirsty monsters. The brother and sister duo then gets to the next task in Tokyo's Asakusa district and Tanjiro finds Muzan in disguise after following a similar scent that was coming out of his house that day his family was slaughtered. Tamayo who also wants to stop Muzan saves Tanjiro as Muzan escapes leaving behind some freshly cooked demons. When they get to Tamayo's house, they learn that she was also morphed into a demon by Muzan and she adds that there could be a way to prevent becoming a demon. But then two demons Susamaru and Yahawa after getting an order from Muzan attack them. But the demons are not among the 12 Kizuki or 12 moons, the 12 deadliest demons who serve under Muzan. And with Nezuko's football skills, they manage to defeat the demons. As the siblings leave for their next mission after dispatching the two demons, Tanjiro runs into Zenitsu Agatsuma, another demon slayer from the final selection, who is harassing a woman into marrying him. He is prevented from bothering the woman by Tanjiro and he admits that because of his frailty and lack of resolve, he had hoped to pass away during the final selection. But circumstances made him a full-fledged demon slayer. Then Tanjiro's crew leads them to their next destination, a huge mansion where a demon has abducted the brother of two kids named Shoichi and Teruku. The mystical aspects of the mission keep them apart inside and the master space manipulator is the powerful drum demon Kyogai. Together, Tanjiro and Zenitsu take on Kyogai and defeat him. Tanjiro uses water breathing to adapt to the demon's unusual movements, while Zenitsu proves to be a highly powerful fighter, but only while he is sleepwalking. 
They then come across a rogue boar mask demon slayer Inosuke Hashibira, who was also present at the selection day. And he reveals that he had known all along that Tanjiro was carrying a demon in a box thanks to his incredible sense of smell. The group then heals and buries the dead before being told where to go for their next mission, which is to climb Mount Nadagumo where Zenitsu and Inosuke join forces with Tanjiro. They come across some other web control demon slayers along the road as well as a short demon who warns them to get out of there or mother will murder them. The demon slayer corpse then dispatches Gyu and Shinobu, two of the best demon slayers in the Hashira or Pillars, to aid them in this mission. Tanjiro and his comrades battle a variety of monsters including demons like the puppeteer demon mother and the spider demon son. Also, they run into the fifth member of the 12th Kizuki Rui along the route. The protagonists confront their own problems at one of their preparation and prior experiences as they engage in combat. Even though they suffer significant casualties and injuries along the way, they ultimately succeed in conquering their opponents. Tanjiro and Inosuke face off against the father and daughter and in the meantime the Hashiras come and kill them. While fighting against Rui, Tanjiro's sword breaks in two by an incoming wave from the blood magic of the Kozuki. Rui captures Nezuko to make her his sister after looking at the bond she shares with Tanjiro and he beats the young boy to a pulp. While he was on the verge of death, he recalled his father's annual performance of a night-long dance in chilly weather, employing a particular breathing technique. He breaks the cage with the Hinokami Kagura technique and soon overpowers Rui. Nezuko utilizes her own blood demon art to ignite her blood to burn away any additional wells that he sends to injure her brother. And Tanjiro finally behaves Rui. But in the end, it was shown that all the demon was seeking was the warmth of a family, which he was unable to get after the transformation. Shinobu, unaware of Nezuko, tries to kill her, but after learning everything, they take Tanjiro and Nezuko and put them on trial before Kagaya Ubuyashiki, the blind leader of the Hashiras. On the trial, Tanjiro explains Nezuko's predicament, but the Hashiras are doubtful. Nezuko is repeatedly stabbed by Sanami Shinazugawa, a rough and combative Hashira member. Yet she is able to bear with his taunting, demonstrating that she can withstand her thirst for human blood. Kagaya recognizes both Nezuko and Tanjiro as demon slayers, and they are given the assignment of eliminating a Kizuki demon first. In order to help them heal, the siblings are sent to the Butterfly Mansion, where they encounter Shinobu's protege Kanao Tsurui. While healing and training, Zenitsu and Inosuke give up after failing to defeat Kanao, but Tanjiro keeps working out and eventually defeats her. Haganezuka gives him a new sword and Tanjiro pleases again that his mission is to support Tamayo's study and bring back his sister's humanity. A Kasugai crew notifies the group of their new assignment to the Mugen train where 40 people have vanished. The three say goodbye to everyone before arriving at the train station where they board the departing train carrying Kyujoro Rengoku the flame Hashira. From here on, we follow the journey of Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu and Inosuke as well as Kyojoro Rengoku as they board the Mugen train in search of a terrifying monster terrorizing the town. The flame Hashira is charged with locating and eliminating the demon and on the route he comes across two bento merchants whom he protects from the demon's attack. Kyujuro meets up with the others about the Mugen train and together they take on the difficulties presented by the demon Enmu. Enmu utilizes a few little kids and his blood demon art to secretly assault the dreams of the demon slayers while they are asleep while Nezuko tries to wake them up. All of them have satisfying dreams as Enmu manipulates the little kids to help him kill them in their dreams. But Tanjiro quickly understands the blood magic and wakes up after severing his own head inside the dream where his family is still alive. Tanjiro is able to awaken and save his friends and as they run into Enmu in the real world who has fused with the entire train, they are quickly confronted with a new problem. Together the four demon slayers along with Nezuko destroy Enmu and save the train's passengers. After a bloody struggle they locate Enmu's real neck and Tanjiro uses his Hinokami Kagura method to behead him successfully. But they soon encounter Akaza, the upper rank 3 of the Kizuki who attempts to convince Kyojuro to turn into a demon. But Kyojuro refuses and the two fight to death. But with enhanced demon abilities, Akaza kills him and as the sun rises, he escapes the place. A wounded and crying Tanjiro pursues him and reminds him that the demons will never succeed as long as the demon slayers are alive. 
Although he is dying, Kyojuro's spirit continues to guide Tanjiro and Inosuke, serving as a constant reminder of the significance of their job as demon slayers. They make a commitment to continue on their quest and get stronger in order to defend the populace from the threats posed by the demon. Tanjiro goes to meet Rengoku's mourning but equally angry father, hoping to learn more about Hinokami Kagura. But the old man misbehaves with him and Tanjiro headbutts him for demeaning his martyred son. His younger son and Rengoku's brother consoles him and Tanjiro gives him his brother's final message, which inspires him to train to become a Hashira. When Musa, now appearing as a little kid, first sees Akaza, he expresses his dissatisfaction with him for failing to eliminate the other three demon slayers besides Kyujiro, and Akaza promises to kill Tanjiro as soon as possible. Four months after the incident of the Mugen train, Hashira Tengen Uzui takes the demon slayer trio along with Nezuko under his command to eliminate a Kizuki who is secretly living as an Oiran in the entertainment district. He had previously sent his three wives to three suspected houses, but after some time, he stopped receiving messages from them. To find them out, Tengen sells the trio as little girls into three different houses. After sensing a presence moving through the walls, Inosuke looks into the room in which he thinks Uzo's wife Makio is imprisoned. Meanwhile, Zenitsu comes across the demon, who is later identified as Warabihime aka Daki, the Oiran of the house. Prior to the conflict, Zenitsu shields a helper from the wrath of the arrogant Oiran and is knocked out with one blow. Then he goes out of contact with his group, so Tanjiro decides to investigate it. Before leaving to look for the now missing Zenitsu, Tanjiro made a confession to his house's Oiran due to his sincere attitude and told her everything. But as he turns to go, he is met by Daki, the sixth upper moon. Things immediately get out of hand because Daki, a demon who had complete control over a steel like Obi, proved to be Tanjiro's fiercest foe yet. Tanjiro exerts himself to the utmost extent, revealing the true nature of the sun-breathing technique before running out of oxygen. Nezuko, furious and in her new demon form, comes to his aid. After defeating the upper moon, Nezuko loses control and has to be restrained by Tanjiro. However, Tengen arrives to do the final task, swiftly beheading Daki. But things do not finish there since Daki possesses an evil that cannot be contained. Gyutaro's body emerges from his sister and proves to be speedier and deadlier than expected. Gyutaro's weaponized seeds may release poison with just one cut, and to defeat him, Tanjiro and Uzui fight together while Inosuke and Zenitsu face Taki. Gyutaro's blood demon art produces vicious multi directional cuts, and Tanjiro is completely shocked by this and is forced to assist his companions in fighting Daki. Gyutaro reappears and stabs Inosuke to death as the group charges and severs Daki's head from her body, and a poisoned Uzui lies face down with an arm severed, defeated by the demon. Tanjiro scrambles around in search of his sister in a desperate manner before being challenged by Gyotaro. He makes a desperate attempt to severe Gyotaro's head with Uzui's wife Wisteria's kunai, but he is unsuccessful. Uzui then intervenes, claiming to have learned Gyotaro's attacks by heart and to be able to interpret them like musical notation. Uzui and Gyotaro engage in an all-out battle which turns into one of the most watched anime fights of 2022. Tanjiro carefully observes from the sidelines as Inosuke and Zenitsu behead Daki before helping Uzui with a pivotal blow to kill Gyotaro. The battle of the entertainment district comes to a conclusion as the heads of the two upper moons roll to the ground. Then it was revealed to us that Gyotaro is a loving and caring brother of Daki aka Ume and the little girl was a courtesan but after her unfortunate and untimely death, he is submitted to Muzan when they were found by the upper ranked sixth of that time who offered to turn them into demons. In the end, he finally reunites with his sister in the afterlife and makes a promise to never leave her again and Uzui on the other hand retires from his Hashira position. Now that the upper moon 6th has been vanquished, Muzan's group must reunite in order to plan their next move against the Demon Slayer Corps. The new trailer for the upcoming arc of the Demon Slayer Swordsmith Village features upper moon Akaza, Doma, Gyoko, Hantengu, Kokushibo, and the mess pillar Muchuhiro Tokito and love pillar Mitsuri Kanruji can also be seen in the Swordsmith Village. The pillars will fight alongside Tanjiro against the powers, attempting to destroy the village. The next season will start streaming on April 9, 2023. Hey, 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 thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Demon Slayer or what are your expectations from the upcoming season. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of Siren series. See you at the next one. And for the time being, we are signing off. Jare, Oreto, Nezuko no Kizuna, Watari, Nimo, Hikizagirai, and I'll be back.